their mountains and the peaks and the glaciers. And that's where I want to be, and that's where I want to paint. In 1924, Alfred Crocker Layton was hired by the Canadian Pacific Railway to paint and design promotional materials intended to advertise travel, immigration, and freight traffic to Canada. AC, as he was more commonly known as, was inspired by the rugged and wild landscape. The mountains were a welcome challenge to him, as neither the cold, the black flies, or the mosquitoes deterred him. His need to paint the mountains was stronger than anything he experienced along the trail. In the late 1920s, AC traveled the backcountry with the trail riders of the Canadian Rockies Club. With them he explored, sketched, and painted Lake O'Hara, the Yoho Valley, and Mount Assiniboine. The mountains were hard and cruel to AC but they had a grandeur that he was driven to capture. One can recognize the sublime in his work. Dramatic skies and towering mountains underscore the power of the land that had such a hold on him. In 1929, A.C. resigned from Canadian Pacific Railway and was appointed head of the art department of the Provincial Institute of Technology. It is here where he devoted the remainder of his career. Because of his passion for art and learning, Leighton worked with many organizations. He formed the Calgary Sketch Club and the Alberta Society of Artists in 1931. In 1933, AC established a summer art school. This program was eventually incorporated into the Banff School of Fine Arts. Today, AC Layton's work can be found in collections across Canada. AC Layton was a visionary and a cornerstone for Alberta art in his time. The impact of all his accomplishments in his career and life have left a legacy for all Albertans, and his quest for arts education continues to live on in the legacy of the Leighton Art Centre.